here's another tutorial, Sigma Data Center 3.2. This one is how to create tracks or how to save and store tracks. So in the left hand column, if you click on the track button, you will open up a map view. Now in the map view, you have a couple different ways to look at things. Here you have your traditional street map. If you click on the map layer button, you can add the cycle trails which in this case will be all the bike trails that are documented in the area and they will show up as a dark red line. You can also add some hill shading and some altitude lines which would be more handy if you live in a more mountainous area than we are here in St. Charles, Illinois. You also have the ability to see an aerial GPS view at which point you can zoom in pretty closely to see the real street level. Just to make it easier, I'm going to go back to the map view. Now on the right hand side you have my tracks which will show you the different routes that you have ridden in the area that's shown in the map display. You can also click on this button called Gypsies. Now Gypsies is a website where users can go and they can create their own routes. Uh, you can store your rides, you can download them from your GPS device. In this case we've partnered with them so that users in the data center can now see several of the different rides that are available in your area. If you mouse over and just hover on the bike, you'll be able to see a quick preview of the distance and when the route was created. You can see notes in here if you click on the track or the view button. It'll pop up the map in a bigger view and down on the bottom you can also see an altitude profile of the ride. I'll give you a little heads up. If you click on the information button on the right, You'll be able to see when the route was created, what type of route it is, how long, how high, etc. And if it is something that you're interested in doing, just click the button on the top here and it's instantly transferred to your ROX10. If we click the back button and we go back to the main track uh, menu, if we want to create a route, just say Sigma wants to do a Wednesday night uh, group ride. All right, we click save. So I'm going to zoom out of here just a little bit so I can see where I am. So if we were to start right here at Sigma, I click the button here that says create a route and I'm going to put a starting pin right where Sigma is. Just so we can make it a little quicker. I'm going to just click anywhere to create my next route and it will automatically create the ride for me. You can pan down your map. Just say we want to head out here, go a little north. Let's go into Wayne and its beautiful horse country. And we can still head a little further north. In this case, as I said, the red is going to be a paved uh, or a bike trail. So if I click on the bike trail, it should automatically line me up with it. And we can keep going all the way down until we get to where we want to go. And join back up with the bike trail on this side. In that case, something obviously didn't go the way that we want, so if you double click the last button there, it will delete your last point. <clears throat> and ultimately follow our way back And of course the speed of the mapping will kind of depend on your internet connection. Now the map of course is using OpenStreet's map, uh, which is also user generated. So the more people use this, the more reliable and accurate the routes are going to be. 
In this case, it kind of routed me through here, which I know is an industrial park area. And I'm going to double click on this spot right here. And what it will do is add a track point for me, which as soon as that is finished, you can just click on that and drag it to another point and say, no, thank you. That's not where I want to go. Once your ride is finished and you got it to the point you like it, you can click on the information tab up here. It'll give you a quick summary type. In this case, it's a round trip because it started and stopped at the same spot, your distance, etc. You can make some notes for yourself if you would like. Um, <clears throat> you want to get a quick altitude profile, click on the altitude profile. We can transfer it straight to our computer. In this case, it's going right to my Rocks 10.0 or Chad's Rocks 10.0, because I'm using his. And lastly, if I want to export this so that I can post it on my website or Facebook or whatever it may be, I can choose a different file type. The GPS, GPX track is going to be one of the most common. If you save this to your website, put it on your Facebook, anybody can download it, import it into their G, GPS device, and they will know where your group ride is going to be. So. You also have the ability to print this out for those who do not have a uh, GPS type bicycle computer. You can hang it in your shop and say, hey, this is where a group ride is going to be. Join us if you want to come. And that's all you got to do. So I hope you liked the quick tutorial on creating a track in the ROX 10.0 and the Sigma Data Center.